What's good, Fat Girl Squad? It's your girl, Ty McQueen, and welcome back to my channel. So today in my Celebrity Surgery Chronicles, I wanted to talk about Aisha Curry. Aisha is the wife to NBA superstar baller Stephen Curry, and they also share three beautiful kids together. On top of being a wife and a mother, Aisha is a successful entrepreneur with a cooking show under her belt, as well as having a contract with CoverGirl Cosmetics. So for most of us women, outside looking in, she has everything that we all want. A devoting husband and loving family, a successful career. She's beautiful and educated. But recently, Aisha has been getting a lot of backlash in the media for a recent interview that she did where she opened up about some insecurities that she had and she claimed that she wanted more male attention. I believe it was these very insecurities that caused Aisha to make what she considers a rash decision. In a recent interview, she opened up with working women and stated that postpartum depression caused her to get cosmetic surgery. She stated that she experienced postpartum after the birth of her second daughter in 2015, and she said it came in the form of being depressed about her body. Her intentions were to get her breasts lifted, but it came out a lot bigger than what she wanted. So she says, and I quote, I got the most botched boob job on the face of the planet. <laughs> now, although we have not seen what her breast job actually looks like, I don't think it's as bad as she's making it out to be. What I really think it is, is that they did come out larger than she wanted, and that made her insecure. Now, her brand is not to be openly sexual. It's to be toned down and more conservative so with having larger breasts i can definitely see how that's going to even magnify the insecurities that she has we don't see her bare body either but just looking at her she has a beautiful figure and this is a case where i feel like surgery really isn't warranted this is a classic example of how you cannot buy your happiness there is no person there is no thing that's going to make you love yourself and Again, from the outside looking in, she should be happy. She should have everything that she wants. And that's what makes a lot of people angry is because she does have everything. But there's something you have to understand about insecurities. They're not about what you have. They're about how you personally feel about yourself. And there's something that happened to her down the line that has caused her to have a lack of self-love. A lot of girls get surgery thinking that they can fix themselves and make themselves happy. And in her case, you can see it totally backfired on her. She hated her surgery and it probably made her more insecure in the process. And this is why surgery gets such a bad rap because girls who really don't need it, they're using it as a cover up to make themselves feel a certain way. This is why you really have to start taking a really deep look in the mirror and starting to love the person that you see looking back. Because if you can't do that, you're always going to be searching for the next thing to make you feel better about yourself. And in a lot of cases, you're not going to find it. Now, she said that she would never do anything like that again, but she firmly believes it's a choice that every woman should make for herself she said, if something makes you happy, who cares about the judgment? And although she hasn't talked about any corrections for her breast augmentation, she did state that she plans on teaching her two daughters about self-love despite society's harsh standards. She says she's not an entertainer in the industry, she's not thin, and it's been a journey for her. That's why she wants her girls to understand who they are and to love it. Now, I totally agree with her on the latter part of what she said, but Getting this surgery for Aisha, I feel, was totally out of lack of self-love. She was attempting to fix something within herself, which she thought was broken, and ended up damaging herself even more in the long run. And this is exactly why you see so many girls that get surgery after surgery, trying to chase perfection, trying to make themselves feel good about what they see in the mirror, instead of just accepting what they have and loving who they are. Now, although Aisha has admitted to having several insecurities, I really feel that she's been working through them 
And the recent round of interviews that she's been doing is just a reflection on all the things that she thought was wrong with her. And I think it's so important for her to voice her opinion one because she does have young impressionable daughters who will look up to her and could potentially look back on this material and use it against her and how they may not love their own selves but also Aisha represents a lot of women out there including myself I think her experiences can reach a lot of women who are currently in the position that she has been and to have them realize that it's gonna take a lot more than surgery to fix the hole in their heart or fix the self image or lack of self love that they may have. So let me know what you think, comment down below. Do you think that Aisha has learned from her experiences or do you think that she's still chasing some unattainable perfection? So until next time girls, make sure that you like the video, subscribe and I will catch you later, bye. <laughs>